Hey, it's Brickzar. It's time for another Pablo pick a Bricklink Lego order. We got this one. It's from Big B. And it is a kind of Bricklink order I like. It's one that I've a similar type of order to what I've placed in the past. It's a bunch of two by four bricks. And he's working on a color chart, which is super cool. Well, to me it is. Maybe to your kids, you don't care about a color chart. But that's where you use 2 by 4 bricks of all the different varieties that you can find and see how many you can have, and that way you can compare colors over, over time. So we're going to start with the first, which is the, tra the frosted trans colored ones. And which, which drawer are they in? They're in this drawer. So he ordered two... Frosted Trans Blue, two Frosted Trans Yellow, and two Frosted Trans Red. So those are all pretty much self-explanatory what the color is, so I'm going to put them in a bag together. You'll know which is which. When you got, especially when dealing with rare colors, it's good to label them. Or not as common colors, so that's what I'm going to do with the others. You put these in here where they won't get scratched, hopefully. That's his, it's pretty. Alright, the next is Dark Purple, which is in this box here. He ordered two of dark purple. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to label those, and I'll show you why. Dark purple. Because he also ordered what box is it? F5. Way over here to box F5. Wait a minute. That's yellow F5. It's bad when you have things labeled the same. Box F5 is over there. Right there. Can't reach it. Can you go there and get me box F5? Instead of moving the camera, I'll just have they might be bricks go over there. It's right. It's in, it's in the stack right here. You see when it says. There's no F5. It's in this stack. Yeah, one of those stacks. <laughs> See, box F5. Now, he ordered some regular purple. And this is one of those boxes that's got a bunch of different things in it, so i got to sift through it till I find them. There they are. And I already have these labeled because he, he, he's buying the only two I got. That's regular purple. So, that is actually his whole order, but I think it's neat. Put that back there. See, some people won't know the difference between dark purple and regular purple, but now he'll know. If he ever gets another one, he'll be able to tell those purples apart. So, that is his order. We'll put them in a small ba bubble mailer. And one thing I've have, I don't think I've mentioned in the other videos, but I've had, and I have a lot of orders, I want to go ahead and close them up, and what I'll do is I'll write the order number on the outside of it. That way, I, already, I won't mix it up with another order. I can go ahead and put his invoice in there. Because I knock out the pieces that were in there. should put the invoice in first. So his order is ready to go. And now we'll do another one. This is for burning. And this is small order too. But it's got a rare part in it. And so we'll go ahead and pull it. Yellow I-5.
This is what he bought this rare. There are these um, electric lights. These are, you've seen a lot of old train sets. And I do not know why I put these in my store. I should have kept these for myself. I'm sad about it. I tested them before they uh, I put them in the store. So I got those. And got a few other items. And I'll get down. They'll fit in a little bag. Drawer 698. Drawer 698. And he wanted one of these. <laughs> All right. Drawer 779. He wants two. There's drawer 779. There's two. Drawer 1160. Oh good, I don't have to bend down. He wants two of these. I wonder if he's working on a train. And drawer 1297. 1297. He needs two of those. So that is his whole order. Very cool. So you, you just watched me pick two Bricklink orders. I need to make sure I write the order number on the outside of the envelope. And what I'll do is that I'll, when I have a bunch of orders, I'll pick a lot of them first, and then I'll print the shipping label, labels out after that. That's what I'm going to do. That is how you pick Bricklink. Pick a Bricklink Lego order. Thanks for watching. Be sure to check out my other videos. And if you want me to do this for yours, please let me know. I'm not going to be able to do it for every video. And my store has been a little bit busier than I expected. And I think it's probably because of this. But I appreciate everybody's enjoying and wanting to see these types of videos. So I want to give you what you want. So thank you. Please be sure to subscribe and I'll catch you in the next video.